Hey, howdy, hey, everybody, what's up? It's Agent Nemitz, and welcome back today to another episode in the Mind Squad server, on the Mind Squad server, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and that is not going to be my permanent intro. Do not be concerned. I didn't like it either. <laughs> um, we are here today, episode 35. Got, um, got some things to show you in the beginning. Um, first of all, if you weren't uh, available to watch my stream last week, shame on you. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, we didn't do a whole lot, but last weekend, actually a week ago today, we did a stream on the Mind Squad server. One of the things we did was we uh, got beacons um, in my area here. Um, now, hold on. Let me get this go away. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're getting speed 2, strength, resistance 2, regen, and haste 2. Um, whoa, that was weird. Um, yeah, before when I did it in the um in the video or in the stream i only had those two uh and they were only like haste one and speed one well i upgraded them i upgraded them all i went mining for a long time got a lot of iron uh enough to be able to make um make that stuff um this is a little hint at what we've been working on um anyways so uh got that done uh, now we got some four beacons in our fountain. I actually think it makes it look even more majestic. It looks beautiful. Um, wow. Okay. Something that I'm going to be doing, um, moving right along. Uh, something I'm going to be doing in my texture pack is I'm going to be changing or adding in variations to the stone brick, the cracked stone brick, maybe the mossy stone brick if I can, and then... Um, a couple other things like coarse dirt add some variation to coarse dirt add um oh do something with the petrified oak slabs and make a crafting recipe in my in my um data pack so yeah and actually oh some of that stuff has been updated because uh there was like a game breaking bug where if you're trying to craft um um, 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 um black black wool yeah then you actually got shulker shells or shulker boxes instead and i was like oh my gosh stupid all right anyway so moving right along <clears throat> wow my throat uh we did some more work on the motel area so one uh, i added in a couple signs motel reception and then oh look at this this is awesome i added in um you know like armor and like bodies oh um, yeah, I added in armor and bodies. That one's Dragger. He's just lounging, taking a chill. Because, uh, you know, he's like homeless. So he sits here and, yeah, we let him. We I allow him. Something I'm working on, hey, no, this, is uh, Germsy Boy did a custom texture for, like, hay on top of the head. Uh, and it looks amazing. Or a custom model. He also did models with cows, sheep, and pigs. And I put those in here too. And when he adds more, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some to my, um, or add them to my texture pack. But um, that's just one of them. That's not in the latest update yet. I, uh, I'm still working on a couple of the bugs on it. So, anyways, I added in a couple more signs. Motel reception. This is the motel dining hall. Got a nice big old table here. Um, obviously to eat at. And then, uh, you know, this is like the, you get your plate, get your silverware, um, maybe a knife, then, you know, salads out right now, a cake. This is like a plate of something, I don't know. Then you grab your drinks right here, um, and then once you're done with it, you put it on this, oh, thunderstorm, geez. Uh, once you're done with it, this is garbage, you, you know, this is like a sink you can put it in, or something like that, I don't know. Uh, and then like a little furnace, I don't know, just felt like, felt like adding detail, okay? And then storage up top because we can and we will. Uh, and then a little carpet showing where to walk, kinda. I don't know. Just just do a little interior work, not a ton. And I'm liking it. 
That's not the only interior work we did though. This rain is stupid and needs to go away. Oh yeah, see this right here? Oh yeah, yeah, we did more interior work. Let's sleep real quick. Take a little sleep, stop raining. No thunder, we don't want that. So we worked on a couple more rooms. Um, this is room number four, this is the master suite because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and it has this balcony here that overlooks what will eventually be, ooh, spoiler for what I'm gonna show you next, uh, will eventually be like a shopping area. Um, it'll overlook that, like a market, or maybe like a farmer's market maybe, I don't know, something like that. Then uh, this is the other room right here. It's the same as all the other ones, it's room number three. Um, there's the like hotel balcony available to everyone right here. And this overlooks the fountain and the like city center, most kind of, you know, the busiest part of the city. Uh, we got books lining right here and then a couple places to sit and read if you so desire. And then room number five is this away and there's a nice big painting to greet you. Um, then there's that one there too. This is the presidential suite and it's very large. And I actually really like the detail in this room. It's very nice. It's, you know, it's a big area. You got a place to sit, place to cook. Um, you got some bookshelves. Uh, you got a nice big bed here. And then you can overlook the uh, market area again or the the harbor, whatever you, either way, I don't care. But um, it doesn't have a door separating the bedroom. It's just a kind of like an archway. It's kind of nice, it's kind of nice. I like it a lot. So yeah, that's something. Oh, and then this is just open to the, kind of like the public. Yeah. So that was some interior work that I done, did, done did, um, on the, on this place. And now this is all done in here. It's good. We got all of this spot done. We got my base done and we got this one done. It's very nice. It's very nice. Something else that I've been working on is, uh, adding in greenery and oh my gosh, it makes the city come alive and makes it look so nice. Added in these custom trees, dark oak leaves, dark oak fences, and then I added in the tall plants. Um, only the tall flowers are in here, and then tall plants and normal plants. So yeah, I did it in all these borders except for the big ones, if that makes sense. So yeah, and then uh, right here we have this vineage growing around, um, and that is this is I started working on the interior of this place a little bit. This is gonna be the eating place. So yeah, I just. I was working with leaves and I figured you know, I might as well do this now and so I did and it's looking real good. Um, the ones, so I did all those small borders, I didn't do these big ones yet. That's what I was talking about earlier. Um, yeah, but then you like you look at it from this angle, oh my gosh it looks so good. And even the beacon beams, it looks cool because that's like, oh that must be the city center. You know, and you come in from here and you're like, oh well I can go over there. Um, yeah good stuff so and then I started working on this stuff here um, I, I got this whole little it's like a four building um, array so there's this one that one that one that one and I have all the lights and the staircases on the inside uh, but I didn't do any of the detail yet I wanted you guys to see what it looks like without flower boxes and detail because like you know that looks really good like that and so does that but it's because it's all detailed you know when it's just bare bones, I mean, it still looks good, but it, it like lacks, you know, it lacks a little something, something, but these ones are very unique, um, very different from all the other buildings. Uh, like that has a little peak up there and the other side is a big window. This one has like a three tall window in the middle. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool, you know, got a little patio right there. But yeah, this is progressing along very nice, our base here. I like doing little bits of work in between episodes and then showing you guys, and I think you guys are liking it too. It's progressing very nicely. Um, the next little stent of houses that I wanna work on um, is kinda over there. I have it. I have the bases all done, like the cobblestone part and the windows on the bottom, but I don't have any of this stuff done. So I wanna finish detailing this out, then we'll move over there and uh, get work done on that little it's like two houses over there then I want to do those houses right there there's like two right next to my house and then either those ones or these this set here not that set so yeah we'll figure it out I mean we don't have like a whole ton left to do with them I mean obviously we have quite a few houses left but I'm getting used to like building this style again and it's pretty easy to do so 
I'm getting it I'm getting it down pretty nicely the next thing I want to show you guys actually I know there's a lot to show you is uh, me and um, or Wes and I proper English not me and Wes Wes and I is proper English uh, we were working on wow not loading in at all great great game no it is it's a great game I like this game a lot ah oh that freaked me out but anyways so over here oh I feel like I'm gonna hit my face maybe not over here at the um, the community farm area me and him worked on a building together he asked if I wanted to work with him on it I recorded a little bit from it if I can find something what is this like a tipped arrow what in the world anyways if I can find something or find some good clips I'll put them in like uh, right after I'm done talking about this just to show you but oh yeah there it is right there Ooh, it looks so good looks so good we did good work so we kind of wanted to stick in the style of the area like using a lot of wood and similar to that style and I think we nailed it this is um, this is, uh, this is a great build. These are all his shulker boxes. We were working on it late last night and we ended up just going to bed because we couldn't handle it. So this is the Gentle Pasture of Peace Cow Farm. Or the Gentle Pasture of Peace. In parentheses, Cow Farm, just in case you didn't know. Um, hey, how'd you get over there? Well, you're about to see the new cow models that I was talking to you about. Boom. Don't they look different? I like them a lot. I actually watched Germ jersey boy because these are from him i watched him do a live stream uh making these and i helped him with some of the ideas and stuff and yeah it looks really good but yeah so this is where their pen is right here they're all penned up right here in this and i detailed out this nice cobblestone uh like wall area and they're all in here and then you know there's like uh maybe poop and maybe that's what that is and then just trodden dirt i kind of want to put podzole in here um, but I'd have to go get it or grow a large spruce tree to get that. Um, but that's no problem, really. It's no problem. I can do it. Um, there's a little entrance to it right here uh, off the back. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. I made this like look like kind of run down, maybe. I was, that's what I was going for. But yeah. So this is where they stay right here. And I got to tell you about the lore of this place. Because we, we came up with like lore for this building. And I really like it. I think it's cool. So anyways, you come in here, you come in the area. Uh, Wes said he would do some more interior work. I did a little bit. I did some of the roof. I did carpet. Uh, I did a little bit. Changed the table. Did that. Changed these. Yeah. Anyways, so this is where people come to like buy. This is just lore. This is just to make it, you know, give it a little oomph. So they come to buy um, meat right here. This is where they buy. It's right there. When this is closed, it's not open. So yeah. And then in here is where the man does all of his work. And this guy is a very cruel man. He is very cruel uh, to the to the cows. As you can tell, they watch as he just murders and hangs up their their carcasses for them to watch. And they they're all right in here, but they have to come in here to eat. You know, this is like a little loft area. They come, they come in here, they have to come in here to eat and drink, and when they come in here, he just snags one and then does his work. This is his knife right here. Uh, there's redstone on the ground to signify, you know, blood maybe. Um, then he's got some of them hanging up here. I, I like to use the birch um, fences as rope. I think it looks really good as rope, but yeah. And then, you know, he sells it right here. Um, and there's furnaces here. Uh, stuff like that that's like his counter and then upstairs he actually there's like a little balcony here we did just because um, this is where all the storage will be so like you know this is for people to use I'm just telling you about the lore right now but um people can come and use this you know as kill the cows breed them up before you kill them and stuff so that way you don't just totally massacre them all out because then we'll have to replenish but um, you know like we can store leather and whoops store leather and beef up here and then this was kind of just you know like maybe he lives here this is where he lives right above the cows actually so yeah the interior is not totally done yet we got quite a bit done on it and i'm really liking it um yeah i added in a lot since me and him played last night i hope he likes it he actually did a lot of this arch here this roof i really liked it and then i did this um, this archway this first one and then he added the roof part to it 
Um, I added that archway and stuff, and it's looking good. I like it a lot. So free range cow farm, kind of the gentle pastures, because this man's real gentle, like totally. <laughs> wow, that hiccup came out of nowhere. Anyway, so um, I have a plan for today. I know we're already like. 15 minutes into the video it's crazy and I just got done showing you everything but I really like this build I think it looks good it looks very good uh, it took a lot to get it to look this good though a lot of him and Han but yeah so uh, what I want to do today is I want to work on um, I want to work on something something kind of for Halloween um, so uh, you know in sp in the in the not spirit of Halloween maybe I, I mean I guess that'd kind of be a play on words but maybe in the spirit of Halloween um, we are going to be making a little um, a little game kind of for like inspired by Halloween kind of because you know Halloween what do you think of you think of like zombies and, and death and the undead and dressing up and costumes stuff like that so last year you know we did all the costumes for people and ooh, this is wes's uh interior shop coming soon it's, it's very nice actually but anyway so um yeah uh we got you know like undead death spirit stuff like that for halloween i want to make a game in the gaming district and it is going to be um kind of inspired by halloween um yeah it's going to be kind of cool uh, I like the idea that I came up with and well I, I kinda this is from Minecraft kinda um, kinda not so we'll see how it goes but one thing I do want to do real quick yeah I brought these over because I like everything you see in my inventory here this is like the last of my dark oak because I've been building so much at my base with it and we just built that over there with it the whole roof was made out of it I'm running low man I need some dark oak so we're coming to see uh please please be stocked oh my gosh there's one plank no 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 uh, well i'm gonna take this complimentary complimentary dark oak plank that's no oh he has a lot of acacia spruce oh he has a lot of spruce no jungle no birch oh my gosh dragger stock your shot man come on I was willing to play diamonds. I had 32 here. 32 here for you, my friend. Um, let's check this shop too. See if we got any new sales from the... From the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That must mean we sold a shulker box. We must have sold a shulker box. I haven't checked this shop in a while, actually. Um, yep, we sold a shulker box. Nice. I knew that it would be good. I knew that people would like some shulker boxes. So yeah, let me get all the materials. Uh, I thought I heard phantoms. Let me get all the materials gathered together for this build that I'm planning to do. And then uh, we will head over to the gaming district and start building this. It's going to be, it's not going to be like a super big build. It's just going to be something simple. But it's going to be maybe some redstone. Maybe some redstone involved in how to make it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in, um, see you in just a second. Oh, you know what? No, I want to shorten that up. That's way too long still. I was going to say, that's really long. Are you planning on doing... Like, what's your plan for it? I don't really know like what you have planned. So, I like what you've been doing in, in your area, and I really enjoy the, like, the three-tall stone base. Mm -hmm. So I think we might want to do one of those. And, you know, decorate that up, and then jut outwards, and then up. Okay. But only on like a certain part of it. So, how I hand, how I tackle that is like the area that's going to be shorter. I'll do like two, two tall, with uh, broken up, uh -huh. and then if I have some spruce on me, I think I have some in this. Uh, I put my things over here. How I do that is I break it up with some spruce, like so. And then make that three. And then roof. Like that's the roof line. Mm -hmm. And it goes up from there and does its curve and slope. Now, do you want it to house the animals in inside the building? 
or were you planning on doing it like outside in like a pen area type thing you know a pen area might be better that will take less time for sure right well and i was thinking we could make it kind of like how you have them penned up now with the stone wall we could do something similar to that just make it bigger and then add in detail with cobblestone walls slabs stairs you know all that stuff yeah a little bit like uh how how b-dubs does that uh all natural yeah yep. free roaming cow farm <laughs> yes yes the free range cows free range cattle i know exactly what he's talking about all right guys so i am back and um it's actually the next day for me recording uh it is probably or well it's not too long for you at all actually <laughs> Don't know why I was thinking it wasn't, or that it was long. Uh, the thing you probably saw in between the clip of me showcasing everything and this is um, a little video of me um, with uh, Wes doing that build that I showed you at the community farm with the cows. Um, now I want to show you what I just did. Um, I was going to bring you guys in to do it, but uh, I struggled with the redstone a lot, so I chose not to. This, my friends, is the Death Games. And I'm going to read you the Death Games rules out of the rule book, so that way you understand how this game is played. Um, welcome to the get Death Games, as seen on the Minecraft server. Note, all recently active players are already entered into the game. If you want to be removed or added, just ask pages or rules on the next page. Uh, rules. In order to play, you must come and check the chest label check here if your name is in the chest you are allowed to push the button and clear your name however if someone else's name is in there you are allowed to suit up with the required weapons and armor to kill them note you are not allowed to use your own weapons and armor your target is allowed to defend themselves however they want if you kill your target then they must pay you a diamond but if your target kills you then you must pay wait wait what they must pay you a diamond yeah if you if, uh if your target kills you then you must pay them a diamond after your fight you must come back and return the armor and weapons plus push the button to clear your former target's name if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask agent nemitz happy slicing so um I kind of wanted to do like a server-wide game similar to how Hermitcraft has tag and how Death Games was on the Minecraft server, but um, I came up with my own game. It was kind of a merger or mixture of the two. It was going to be Death Tag, and it was where, you know, it was like Hermitcraft where you had to tag them, but instead of tagging them, you had to kill them, and that was the only way to tag them. If you didn't kill them, they don't get tagged. Um, and then you have to give them all the stuff or whatever, and they have to wear it until they tag the next person. But uh, we're on very different time schedules, everyone on the server here. So a lot of times when we're playing, we're on by ourselves, like me currently. Um, so I don't think a game like that would be super well. Um, it would work for a active server, like a super active server with more than one person on at a time. But it just isn't going to work here. So uh, I just decided to do the death games. Plus, I haven't seen it in a while. And uh, let me just show you what I did in here. So this is the suit that you're going to have to wear when uh, you're going to slice someone. And it's in here, the required weapons and armor. You get the helm of death games, chest plate of death games, pants of death games, and boots of death games. Plus the bow of death games and sword of death games. I know, really creative names, right? Um, and they all have decent enchants on it. I didn't want to give this person a super huge advantage. They have to be very smart in order to kill this person, whoever their target may be. Um, so you see they have sharpness 3, unbreaking, um, no knockback or anything, uh, power 3 on this. Then uh, there's a different thing on each one of these. There's fire protection on this one um, and a couple other things. There's blast protection on this one, just normal protection, and then projectile protection. So that way it's pretty well-rounded. Um, just in case, you know, and then this has infinity, so that's why there's only one arrow. But, uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, this is the custom model for the armor stand. See, it has the hay bale head, kind of cool. Um, yeah, so this is the suit that you have to wear. The rules are going to be, boop, right there. 
And then uh, members who aren't in the game right now are Mining Gengar, Sutter 20, and Spiky 15. Everyone else is in there. And uh, let's see who's in there now. Right now, there's Charlie PvP in there. And uh, I have a randomizer set up to randomize the names every now and then. And uh, I gotta still put the sign that says check here or whatever. And with the arrow pointing down. So that way they know to check here. And I'm thinking about adding our own special rule to it to like say you're gonna select this target or like say you're gonna choose this then you're gonna take this out of here and you would put um there would be like a sign maybe like right here that says current target and uh charlie pvp you put it in the item frame oh geez you would put charlie pvp's name in the item frame and it would do a thing oh i think i just well now there's two targets <laughs> um yeah so that's how that's gonna work. Actually, let me take this out and put that one there. I think I gotta just pop this down somewhere. Right there should be fine, right? That'll work, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about adding that to this. Um, now I'm gonna have to check my recording time. Uh, actually, I think we're about, I think we're about 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm gonna do another thing in this episode real quick. Um, it's going to be just a small little farm, um, not in the farming district, it's going to be our own personal farm, and we're going to put a nether portal out to it somewhere and all that good stuff, but yeah, so we're going to do a special little farm, um, and yeah, I'll come, I'll come back to you guys when I have it all made, and it's going to be very nice and very fancy. Alright guys, so I'm back, and luckily we had a little bit of time extra to record, so I, uh, I did the farm that I was talking about. It wasn't a whole lot of work. The worst part was clearing out, or was, well, doing this. <laughs> doing the nether tunnel, figuring out where to go. Um, I still got to do the pathway, like what color will lead to it. But also, um, clearing out this space in here. Um, we're completely underwater right now, just saying. Um, huh, haven't got anything yet, but I haven't really AFK'd here, so didn't really expect to. Let me show you where we're at exactly um we are underwater yeah look at that we're underwater and this is a trident farm that i found uh on the internet from oh who was it i don't remember who it was um don't remember his name exactly i can look it up later maybe i think it was like is something crazy but if you search up trident farm it'll come up pretty like pretty high up there so anyways this uh it has a villager in here that's one main reason why we set up the nether portal but also because it just makes it easier to get back and forth because the nether hub is very nice and uh so this guy right here he is in some water and uh actually we're losing some air but yeah he is in some water and whenever drowns spawn uh, within the radius, like, or th within the possibilities of spawn area, um, they will be drawn to this guy because he is in the water and they want to come and get him. And so they come and try and get him, and then they get stopped by this thing here, this, uh, whatever it's called, um, bubble column? Yeah, that's what it is, bubble column. And they go down and they start dying on those magma blocks, but if we are, come on, let me down. If we are in the spot uh, when they come down there, um, well, this is the where all the drops will come is right here, um, and it's in hopes of getting a trident. Okay, that's what it's in hopes of. And I didn't do a whole lot of detail. I did the floor. Uh, I didn't do anything over here yet. Um, didn't do the walls. Just did behind here, behind the nether portal. Yeah, the roof. Um, so if we come up here, flip that, and if they come in here while we're, you know, while we're chilling then uh, we can slice them and dice them and I use these instead of eggs instead of the egg things um, the he used what was it the turtle eggs he used turtle eggs I didn't really want to use that I didn't want to go find them and breed them too so I uh, I did daylight sensors because those work just as well and we can slice them when they come here and increase our chances of getting a trident or whatever they're holding and uh, yeah that'll work out really swell work out really good um, I'm excited for this. We're probably going to be getting a trident by next episode. Um, so it'll be really good. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Did quite a bit today. Got uh, 
Got a new farm, the, the Trident Farm or Drowned Farm, whatever you want to call it. And then um, we created the Death Games because it's Halloween time and plus just want a new game to be played on the server because it'll be pretty fun. And then um, what else did we do? Oh yeah, I showed you my progress on everything that I've built so far. Um, the cow farm in the farming area, we did that with Wes. Um, we also built up our base a little bit. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode today. It was a lot of fun. A lot of good times. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like for me. Subscribe if you're new or haven't subbed already. It helps me out a ton. We actually are at 211. I appreciate that very much. Go check out the Agent Nemitz merch link in the description. Um, it's limited time, only be available till November like 7th or something. So you only got a little bit, only got a little bit left. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So take care, have a great day, and bye bye.